so hello everyone welcome to one of the most interesting videos so today we are going to talk about data integrity and its principles of data integrity in terms of alcoa plus principles so as you know the success or failure of an organization is determined by how well it is using its data and what are the process and business insight it is using and with the analytics revolution in the recent years the significance of data has increased even more when it comes to clinical research the data integrity applies to good documentation practices and in pharmaceutical industry to good manufacturing practices so without further ado let's start this video data integrity can be explained as it denotes the quality of the data concerning the accuracy and consistency of the data and over the years many organization has tried to put standards and frameworks of data integrity and in 1990s the us food and drug administration introduced the alcoa principles these are the guiding principles for ensuring data integrity and it acts as a cornerstone of good documentation practices so let's start with alcoa principles so as you can see here that alcoa stands for attributable legible contemporaneous original and accurate so let's see what are they one by one so when i say a data is attributable so what exactly it means that the particular data must attribute to all the collected data and must have information about who collected that data who acted on that data and when that action was performed and it needs to have an attribute to be traceable back to the individual who generated that information so it clearly highlights the accountability of the data next principle is the legible principle or legibility of the data so when it comes to legibility it means that the collected data must be precise and understandable now in the recent era where the documentation were in the paper format it used to mean the legibility of that particular document but in recent concept in the age of technology the electronic records or the data needs to have special care to record the data and the audit trail of the context of the data collected and this should also be taken into consideration the next principle is data being contemporaneous okay so what does contemporaneous mean it means that the data must be recorded at the same time when the action was performed and this is extremely important even in pharmaceutical research and manufacturing process because if you think about it the results the measurements and what actions were taken and the data recorded at the real time clearly highlights that when this action was performed and how this action affected in real time so that is contemporaneous data next thing is the originality of data okay data be original so data must be original in the context of the point or medium at which the data is recorded for the first time and the further processing of this data so it should mean that whatever the original source of the data was it can be a small piece of paper it can be a record it can be a report and that initial point of time when that data was available that becomes the original source okay so now uh, looking at the last point of the alcoa is data being accurate so what does that mean it means that the most basic requirement of any data point is to be used in analysis and that that data to be used in analysis must be accurate so it should be complete and free of errors in order to be accurate and any changes or update made or performed only as per the good documentation practices in case of manual data the collection means having multiple individual checks of the accuracy of the data and in case of electronic data collection it means that there must be a redundant or duplicate system in place to verify the accuracy of the data so when you put together the attribute attributable legible contemporaneous original and accuracy of the data it clearly highlights the alcoa principles which was set forth by usfda so in the year 2010 
फोर मोर प्रिंसिपल वर एडेड टू अल्कोआ प्रिंसिपल टू रिफ्लेक्ट दी करंट हैपनिंग एंड इट वॉज नेम्ड एज अल्कोआ प्लस प्रिंसिपल विच यू कैन सी योर ओके सो द करंट प्रिंसिपल आर कॉल्ड एज अल्कोआ प्लस प्रिंसिपल विच इंक्लूड फोर मोर क्रिटिकल प्रिंसिपल नाउ लेट सी वॉट दिस फोर अल्कोआ प्लस प्रिंसिपल आर ओके सो द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज कंप्लीटनेस ऑफ द डेटा सो वॉट डज इट एक्जैक्टली मीन्स so it means that all the data recorded should be complete in a manner that it shows that any changes made to that data in terms of source as well as any change in time so nothing must be deleted or lost without concern and it should have an audit trail okay so this would include any repeat analysis or reanalysis performed in the uh, lab test as well the next uh, parameter would be the consistency parameter so what does it exactly mean that whenever that data is recorded so that data needs to have a date and time attached to them so that it becomes a possible a possibility to create a chronology or the sequence of the events of that data okay and it also helps in capturing the sequence of expected data and in a defined sequence so that is consistency next is data must be enduring so what enduring denotes is that the storage of data safety long after the trial has been completed and the accessibility of the data in the defining uh, retention period for example if a particular trial is completed we archive the data and that archive uh, data is done for 10 years 15 years so that data should be enduring and it should be uh, accessible easily in the retention period of the clinical trial okay the last principle is availability now this is one of the most critical principle it means that data must be available whenever needed the key difference from the previous construct of this means that it emphasizes on the ability to retrieve the dead data at any point of time and it does not only mean about the storage of the data okay so this principle clearly highlights that whatever data is stored at that period of retention of time it should be accessible and available in real time so if you see that these are the four plus principles of alcoa and it clearly helps us to understand what exactly data integrity is and what are the guiding principles of data integrity in today's world so in conclusion we can say that this alcoa plus principles were initially conceived for pharmaceutical industry uh, domain in particular but they have the potential to make the most significant difference when it comes to uh, data protection and use of the data these alcoa plus principles ensure that your data has always an audit trail to capture any addition updation or deletion of the data and in the current analytics or data driven world where decision making scenario and changes are made to the data constantly this principle helps you to ensure that your decisions are based on the correct data based on its integrity and that particular data can be verified for its accuracy consistency in real time so that is the significance of alcoa plus principles speaking about significance it is very significant for your clinical research career that you get a certification from one of the best institutes and our friends at clinical aim research institute are doing a fantastic job they are coming up with their november batch okay so uh, november batch uh, would be uh, a very interesting batch and it would cover all the fundamentals of clinical research along with its clinical data management and pharmaceutical uh, pharmacovigilance so please make sure that you call them and register for this batch as it is going to be one of the most significant decisions of your entire career and your way into the door of clinical research and a successful career now coming to an end please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you share this to all your colleagues who are interested in uh, learning about data integrity in data science and clinical research make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you the most interesting content available